everyone, Phyllis Serene here with PhyllisRaleigh.com. Wanted today to talk about the five purposes of sex, and let's name them. First one, procreation, that's how we all got here. Two, pleasure, it's fun. Three, connection. And four, healing. And five, tra sexual transmutation. So procreation's not too difficult, we, we get that. We're here to uh, make more of us on the planet, and some of us choose not to, and that works too. With uh, eight billion coming up around the corner, we've got a few of us here, so uh, picking up some extras along the way from other people, good way to go. That second one, pleasure. It has been a, a driving force for our sexuality, for our people. Now. A lot of that, uh, especially of those in the West, um, that has been abused, um, taken advantage of, been solely the pursuit. Um, and we like to pick on our brothers for going, you know, he's only interested in sex. Well, not really, but it is a driver emotionally. And we need to learn how to respect that and work around that. Now, there are some challenges with that because uh, if you've been in a system where fluoride uh, overdevelops the sexual organs, um, circumcision desensitizes the sexual organs, and so it makes it harder to achieve pleasure. Those are challenges you have to work around, and in our day and age, we're working around some environmental issues that are also making it very difficult. The other thing to keep in the mind, um, we have a limited number, in particular for men, they have a limited number of orgasms, rather ejaculations, that they can have. And what's important for them to learn is how to separate orgasm from ejaculation. And that you can do with Taoist practices um, and ten teacher, ten trika practices of learning how to separate orgasm from ejaculation. And for women, we're not getting enough pleasure. We have not learned how to take control of our own sexuality and really make it our responsibility to create, maintain, and continue getting orgasms in our life. Dr. Oz in America, a famous uh, TV medical doctor, recommended that women have orgasms every 48 hours. And why? Mainly because an orgasm gives oxygen and nutrients to you all 80 sections of your brain every time you have one. I call it the fountain of youth, and that's one way to stay, keep your body fecund and ready to house for procreation purposes. Your body wants to be in its best condition, and that's the way it does it with nutrients and oxygen. So a good way to feed the brain and the whole body and stay youthfully young. So pleasure allows us to connect and experience an incredible power. Um, and the connection powers are pheromones that are released at the time of orgasm and connection. Remember when we used to say we get cooties from touching a boy or girl? Well, those are pheromones. It's like when a cat rubs up against you and he marks you. Same as being touched with someone. It's an important connection and bonding purpose, especially because the gestation period for having children, nine months, you need someone to stick around for that and you need to help 18, 20 years later in raising that. So that bonding capacity of the pheromones is really an important piece of um, the sexual encounter. Fourth, healing. There are amazing um, properties that, as I mentioned for women, and for men that are they're able to get in touch with by using sex, particularly the coming up to 80%, it's really not the orgasm for men that will strengthen them. It's a process we call edging, where a man takes up that orgasm up to 80% and then drops it back down to 20%. And each of those cycles where he comes up to 80%, he heals a different part of his body. I mean, we're talking circulatory, uh, muscles, bones, mental. And by the time, if he can do it 10 times without ejaculating, psychic abilities are able to be opened and protecting that auric feel of their bodies. So healing, literal healing of the body is an important part of that process that men can bring into their lives. And finally, sexual transmutation. 
that's an area of development that's really been hidden from us and it's been brought into the worlds of sex magic and taken advantage of in sexual rituals or uh, Satanist or dark ritualistic or black magic practices. And why? Because sex is the most powerful energy our species has. It is the power of life and so it's able to empower other areas of our life, not just a child or not just a five second or ten second high. It is able to move that energy up, which is a practice you can develop. It is chi, it is organ energy. You're able to move it up to the body, to the solar plexus, to the heart region, to the throat, to the mental capacities, and to your spiritual realms. You're able to empower all of those areas and bringing the most powerful energy you have to those organs and to those centers. So sexual transmutation, which uh, Napoleon Hill wrote about in his book, um, Think and Grow Rich, but he didn't explain it. And really that work is about moving that energy up the body. There's some meditation practices you need to develop to do so, uh, 17 seconds and holding a thought for 17 seconds. But the real power and the real magic is when using your mental ability to hold the thought at the time of orgasm will empower you to it really it's like a rocket ship for your dreams so don't waste an orgasm i like to say if you're only using orgasms for pleasure you're wasting 80 percent of its value so consider that when you're thinking about sex we've got five reasons to take it seriously have a great day, y'all. Namaste.